Well, time for our final review video of the Soul Fern. So it's, uh, there's the model number right there, BOF LT1. And uh, it's just plugged in. I was just playing around with it, using it for a bit. And uh, just so everyone knows, it's USB type C charging, which is pretty freaking sweet. Oh, we rat's nest. Well, I think it's time to finally post a video of that guy up there. So it's a Soul Fern. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that name right. And it's a lantern. Now, I made some videos about two weeks ago. I have been using it on and off now for quite some time. And uh, I'm going to say I am actually extremely impressed with it. Just going to set up over here and I'll get back to you guys in just a few seconds here. Well, it was just plus 40 out today. And these bulbs here are a little warm. A couple grow lights here, but everything's out of here now. So basically. Sulfurn? Yeah, so that's what we thought. Okay. <laughs> you just had to come say the exact name of it. So basically, this is what it comes with here. Now, I've already been using it for a while. And uh, there was no case for it. I don't believe so because it's a lantern. It wouldn't have came with a holster. Uh, there is only one kind of an issue that I have with the light but it's to be honest I'm probably just a little bit too picky uh, is this rubber plug right here when you charge it I kind of leave it on the charger all the time this plug is a pain in the butt to get back into place like you can push one side the other side and I'm accidentally hitting the butt in there so and You see, it's still not in place yet. Did it go into place finally? Nope. Finally, yeah, now it is. I just find it's a little bit tricky to get back into place when you pull off this cover here, but at the same time, this thing has super crazy, amazing battery life. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> it's just because I leave it plugged in all the time. And it also comes with a replacement one here, so. Again, that's not too big of a deal. Comes with lots of spare O-rings, which believe it or not, you very rarely ever need to use O-rings in a light. Okay, so I just wanted to pop it open here. You guys can see, very nice looking on the inside. There is an adjustable pot there, which to be honest, I'm kind of afraid to turn it. Hmm. But you guys can see, there's a little bit of information on there. You guys can see that. Yeah, my phone's not really the best thing to film with, but I mean, at the same time, it is pretty sweet. And it does run on 18650s that are flying away. It's their own batteries. Let's give it a little shot of those guys right there. So, four 18650s. Has a nice divider in between them. Very heavy duty, that is for sure. Okay, and as for some pretty sweet features, you guys can see, you can put it on a tripod right there. And you can also mount it on a tripod on the side. You can also hang it up right there. And there's an interesting screw that when you open it, I'm pretty sure it would be to remove this top. I have not done that, and I don't plan to do that. Again, this is a very great emergency light. I'm going to turn it on here. You can see multiple different brightnesses. Multiple different molds, which to be honest, I am still learning the molds. Now, it is very, very advanced, I'm going to tell you. If you want to use any of the special molds, you can get this thing blinking like a uh, candle, thunderstorm, some pretty sweet settings. i only been able to get it into those molds a few times, but I actually haven't played too long yet trying to do those settings. Because for me, it's a lantern. I don't need those settings. But the one time I got it into those molds, it was pretty sweet. Uh, also has a uh, cool light and just a normal kind of yellow light, which is kind of neat. As an example, the, eh, never mind, my camera doesn't show it up here. I was going to say warm light, cool light, but it doesn't really show up. <laughs> Again, you could switch this. That's fairly easy to do. And I'll just give you a quick shot here of the user manual where you can switch those settings. 
and you guys can see what I mean. <laughs> if you guys can see that, yes, it takes a little bit of time to be able to learn this. But again, for the normal light, it is freaking awesome. I uh, never had any emergencies that I had to use it, but I did use it a few times working in the tent sheds. And it is freaking awesome for working on tractors. The one thing I am going to mention that, yes, it's a lantern. You cannot carry it in front of your face when you're outside. It's going to blind you. You kind of can't do this because it's not as bright. Uh, you can hold it above your head. Of course, that's going to be fine. But realistically, it's designed to be hung above your head or somewhere higher up. Or in a workplace, but never right in front of you because then you just kill your night vision. Again, it's not a flashlight, it's a lantern with extremely decent runtime. Uh, if you follow this guy here, DBSAR, on YouTube, I noticed he does have some print, pretty interesting videos talking about the designing it. You could say trial and error, different changes they made. Then he had Sulfurn make it for him so you can also go online search this guy right here you'll see he, uh on a few different flashlight forms talking about the build the design everything it's kind of interesting light and it has a lot of information online about it uh as for the user manual here you guys could probably go on their website if you actually really want to see this but again it is some pretty interesting Features that you can make this light do. <laughs> huh, and there's some information there if you want to see what the emitter is. So it's Samsung, you guys can see LH351D. Well, I decided it's still plus 32 outside and it's dark out, but I'm not going to go out and make a fresh video. I'm going to insert the video from when I just got this because that's going to be the best footage. Uh, right now it's kind of a shitty day and too warm so you, the footage that you guys are going to see at the beginning of this video is going to go in order is from when i first got it you can see a little bit of dust building up but that's because i just leave it hanging up by the front door and again i am very happy with this i've been looking for a form of a lantern to light up say the tent shed and it is amazing i'm actually going to probably purchase a second one so i could keep one uh in the back door or one by the back door and one by the front door Okay, let's give this guy a little bit of a test here. Now, this also probably won't show up the best because no matter what angle I hold it at, it's going to blind me. What is she doing to the poor trees? Maybe I'll hold it on top of my head. I mean, if I hold it on top of my head, it kind of works. But that's the only way I can, like, I can't hold it in front of me. Kind of blind you a little bit. It does, yeah. If I hold it down here, I guess it's... She's trying to help me dig out the stumps. See, even holding it down here, like it's not something you'd want to walk blind. with. Yeah, it's blinding, exactly. Come on, Proxy, get out of here. Get a little tall grass, Proxy. You know the wood ticks are going crazy right now. But look how nice it'd be around the pool area here, hey? Especially with the crazy long run time that this thing will get. But camera's not doing the justice. Pretty damn close, I think. I mean, it's kind of hard to really show the true brightness because, again, it's a lantern and uh, it's not something that would really be ideal to do a shot of so maybe I'll bring it into the shed and that will guy will give you guys a little bit of a better idea how bright it is. Get your nose out of the weasel hole poo poo. <laughs> Wonder if you can find the hornet's nest to stick your nose down that hole and make sure it. Oh yeah that's true it was right there. Okay so check this out. Wow camera's set now it dims out nicely in here so that's not the highest brightness but Look at this, for working in here, this is actually pretty decent. Peekaboo! Ooh, someone seemed scared you, poo poo. But check that out for working in here, hey? That's actually pretty good. I mean, it probably could use another one, and this is an orange backer. It's not a white backing, but yeah. 
Let's try some different molds here. That says them as it goes. Where's Proxy? Right behind you. Okay, good. It's barely hooked on here, so I don't want to let it go in case it clobbers her. Yeah, on low. Camera's not picking it up as good as my eyes does. And that's the highest setting right there. Wow. It's such. Don't let her go underneath it because it's literally barely hanging there, and that's enough to uh, give her some puppy damage. So, yeah. That is going to be very handy for working in here. And the fact that it's up high, it doesn't blind me. It doesn't give any hot spots anywhere. Like, if I put it here... Yeah, see, now it's a lot darker in the corners and stuff. But what would be ideal is if I could get it to hang, I think, upside down. It would probably be brighter in here. Now, I could also get it to... Okay, that's the yellow now. The, the yellow light doesn't really show up as good here. But it's changed it from cool light to the yellow mode. You guys see the little hook there? See what I'm hooking it on? Yeah. It smells like farts in here. Proxy, did you just fart in my tent shed? Oh, it smells like dog fart in here. Okay, don't fall on my head. Guaranteed if I'm going to leave that in here, I'm going to have to make a better way of hooking it. Okay, so now that's on more of a yellow light. But again, my phone's not picking it up. But I don't exactly know how long the runtime is, but seeing how you could say many looms it has, oh, I'm going to give it a test. That's going to be in this video. I'll say how long. But yeah, that is pretty freaking amazing for working in here. That is freaking amazing. This is almost as much light, you could say, as when the sun's in here, like during the day. That is pretty sweet. So far, really loving it. Yeah, this guy's a little angry, isn't it? <laughs> Power's out, been out for about an hour. <laughs> oh yeah, she's so angry, look at the sun. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, I think it's raining pretty good. We literally turned to go like down a trail, you could say, and uh, five trees just fell in front of me, and I'm like, nope, let's get the freak out of there. There's a car coming head on. Okay, that was a little bright. Okay, I'm gonna put this away. This car coming head on. <laughs> it's weird, just yesterday I said, I haven't had to use it in a power failure yet, hey? Yeah, lights up the whole house here pretty good. Not going to zoom around and show it health or anything, but yeah, it works awesome. And as for runtime, oh, so far it's been on for over two hours, and so far so good. Power's still out. Still got this guy going. Uh, some people commented online that it doesn't get warm. Well, it's lukewarm, but not hot, which is pretty good. Power is still out. But so far, so good. It's been on now for well over three hours. And uh, it lights up a room pretty decent, that's for sure. Light it up better if I actually had it hanging in the center of the room. But there you guys go. You can see it. Uh, storm is still here. <laughs> if I had a hook, I'd hang it right there. And look at that, hey? Look how bright that is. It gives perfect amount of light to do pretty much anything here. And again, I normally just have it plugged in and hanging right from that hook right there just for emergency use. And uh, it's kind of weird. Literally an hour before the hydro went out, maybe two hours before, I kind of started making a video about this light. And I said, I haven't got to try it yet because hydro hasn't been out. But... Yeah, that is pretty decent. <laughs> Better bring it back in because right now everyone's sitting in the dark. Well, I just noticed out here. Oh, I can't see anything. It's a little foggy there. Tent shed. You guys see that? Look at a tent shed. Huh. Well, it kind of sucks. I was tempted to take that one down, but I was going to give it a few days to take it down. As in maybe in a week or two. But yeah, the whole front door looks like it's destroyed. A little bit of rain in the yard. 
Can't see much, it's kind of fogging up here, but wow, that is crazy, eh? Whoa, I just felt the whole glass move like an inch there. <laughs> Not an inch, but a couple of millimeters. Wow, it's a pretty good storm, isn't it?